Good morning and good afternoon. My name is Guillaume Boutard and I will present our work on exploring SIGSDOF audio capture for sound art documentation. So this presentation is part of an exploratory research project named Sound Art Documentation, Special Audio and Significant Knowledge, funded by the Canadian Social Sciences and Humanities Research Council and instigated by myself at Université de Montréal and Catherine Guastavino at McGill University with collaborators in sound art, sound engineering and time-based media conservation. So the project which started this fall is a two year long project separated in three phases, a theoretical part, the audio capture and the empirical part. And we are currently in the first phase, which is a theoretical review of sound art with an emphasis on current practices in Quebec. And this is a bi-directional approach, first top down from classic sound art related literature, discussing theoretical elements of significance in sound art characterization, and in parallel, bottom up by reviewing available documentation about sound art works in Quebec. And the idea being also to include current auto documentation practices in the review. And for this phase, we work in collaboration with two artists, Nicolas Bernier and Philippe Aubert-Gautier, to help supervise the construction of this taxonomy by several doctoral and master level students. The goal of this phase is thus to build a taxonomy of sound art practice in Quebec which in return will provide us with criteria to select case studies that represent a diversity of artistic practices along the axes identified in the review. And these cases will be captured with the SIGSDOF system that we plan to use in the project in phase two. And to select relevant cases, we need to take into account pragmatic considerations about, for example, accessibility to the installation, just for setting up the microphone array. For example, some sound art can be installed in a staircase and thus without a horizontal plane for microphone stands. And other criteria include elements of interaction or size of the installation in relation to the number of microphones needed to optimally capture the installation and be able virtually to recreate the sensory experience. So the second phase is thus the audio capture itself for the selected case studies. And this second phase is planned for this winter. And we will use a third order ambisonics microphone array allowing for six degrees of freedom rendering. And as a reminder, six DOF audio capture allows for the recording of an immersive experience with three rotational degrees, that, it's, that is pitch, yo and roll as represented in the lower left diagram of this slide and three translational axes, X, Y, and Z. And in the context of this project, recording will stay on a planar level and thus without translations in Z, uh, which is only a limitation of our access to the number of microphones. And so technically speaking, uh, this would be five off. For this phase, we will collaborate with sound engineering expert, uh, Vislav Wojcik from McGill and the audio capture will then be reproduced on dedicated software through live 3D binaural rendering. So the third phase is the empirical phase of the research project, consisting in evaluating the relevance of this kind of technological setting for the documentation of the sensory experience of professionals from relevant domains of knowledge. And we aim at uh, developing an interview guide for these different domains of knowledge with the help of our collaborators in each domain, namely sound artists, sound engineers, curators and conservators. So participants will be presented with the six DOF rendering and be asked to navigate freely the rendering and describe their sensory experience at points they deem to be significant. And we will then relate the specifically targeted uh, sensory experiences to the question of the ability to easily verbalize this information. The goal being to create a sort of a cartography of more or less tacit knowledge about these works. And we believe the findings will shed light uh, on the benefits of going beyond purely technical specification to document sound art. And this will provide grounds for domain expertise driven documentation for sound art and the potential of special audio recording to document the sensory experience of art installations. So thank you for your attention. And if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer them. And you can contact me at this email address. Thank you very much.
Brilliant. Thank you, Guillaume. And I think Guillaume is here and I think Catherine is as well um, for any questions anyone may have. I know there's a few because I've received messages about them. Um, it's really interesting project, Guillaume. I, I wondered, like, I, I feel like this kind of like six degrees of freedom is maybe like the holy grail in addressing lots of the um, sort of limitations maybe that people feel when they uh, are maybe in an immersive experience or something. I wondered if you could just explain like how you plan to evaluate the, su the success of that, of that feeling of like a freedom within this uh, kind of spatial audio domain and and whether yeah i guess hopefully at one point that will translate into a sort of um visual six degrees of freedom maybe as well uh thank you thank you jack for your question um yeah like the the evaluation part at the end um as i explained earlier a bit in the video is uh is Quite is really, I think will re be re really interesting, like in terms of um, this documentation of the sensory experience across different uh, different domain of expertise. So, what we what we are, will be kind of evaluating in is how uh how it translates from one domain of expertise to the other in terms of uh explicitness easy uh, the easiness to verbalize the the the, um, uh, the level of tacitness of the knowledge uh, that is perceived as significant for the work and that will change across the perspectives across the domain expert uh, expertise so I, I think that the, the most important, interesting part will be uh, the evaluation, how, how they combine, how they cross correlate between all of them. If that answers your question. It certainly does, yeah, Th thank you. Brilliant, thank you. And we, we I, I wanted to say like we, mm also left the question of the specific technology that we use for uh, the capture because we wanted to focus on the general principles and how we can evaluate the, the effective, effectiveness of the general principles rather than the specific technology that we will use. It's also really exciting to see you generating some really complex archiving requirements as well for us. So thanks for that. <laughs> yeah, thanks a lot. <laughs> Well, we, we plan on like, it's an exploratory project and the goal also is to build up follow-up project and the question of archiving will be definitely part of that.